Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. In the last episode, we looked at automation items and how you can use those to control parameters over time in your mix. Today, we'll take a look at using automation items to recreate an effect that was popular in new metal and rock tracks somewhere in the 2000s. I'm not really sure what to call the effect. I suppose I can just call it that EQ trick that was used a lot in the 2000s. Essentially, a song would start as if it were in the distance, possibly as if you were hearing it from outside of a club, and slowly open up as the song progressed. Let's take a look. We'll start by playing the intro of this song and seeing what it sounds like as is. If you'll recall from the previous video, we know that we can control track parameters and effects parameters with automation items. As I think about how to approach recreating this effect, we have a few options. I think probably the best way to approach the effect in question is to use a low-pass filter. If you're not familiar with a low-pass filter, essentially what that does is it allows you to set a parameter on an EQ, and it says to only play content below this threshold. So if we set a low-pass filter at 100 Hz, any frequency at 100 Hz or below will pass, but anything above that will not be audible. Now the beginning of this song before the drums kick in is only a single guitar, so we could put that on the guitar track. We could also put it on this music track, which is a bus that contains all of the music but not the vocals, and that would affect the guitar as well as the drums just before it comes in fully. Another method would be placing it on the master, which of course would control all tracks. Which track or tracks you put the effect on can differ just depending on content. But just for the sake of argument, let's use the master for this example. In order to create an automation, you have to have that track visible in your track control panel, but by default, Reaper doesn't show the master here. If you'd like to add automation or automation items to your master track, we'll start by clicking View, and here at the top we have Master Track. Clicking that reveals the master track, and of course if we would like to control the automation of a low-pass filter, we have to add an EQ to the master track. I'll click the Effects button on my master track, and you can see that I've already got some effects and plugins on this track, but we will add Rhea EQ. You can place the effect at the top or bottom of your chain or anywhere in between. Just be aware that it can affect your sound, so you may want to experiment with it in different places to achieve the sound that you want. I'll choose my first node and change that from a low shelf to a low pass filter. The filter is currently set to 100 Hz, so if I pick anywhere in the song, all we're going to hear is a pretty good bit of low end rumble. And right away, that already sounds like it's distant, perhaps like it's being heard from outside of a club or something to that effect. But I don't want that on the whole song, I just want it on the intro. So let's go back to the intro. I'll turn on snapping, and create a time selection from the start until the point where I want the effect to stop. A quick tip for getting an automation lane to show for the desired parameter is to click on the desired parameter, which in this case will be our low pass filter, and I'll move this frequency slider ever so slightly, the amount doesn't matter, then click on Parameter, and Show Track Envelope, or Envelope. In clicking that, I now have an automation lane for the low-pass filter from Rhea EQ. At this point, I can close my effects window, and I'm going to increase the size of this automation lane so we can see a bit better. I'll draw my automation item by holding Alt, and clicking at the beginning of the section, and dragging it to the end. Now I don't want this low pass filter to be across the entire track, so outside of the automation item I'll grab this lane and bring it all the way to the top, and if I play a portion of the song outside of my automation item it should sound normal. And it does, whereas if I listen to the section with the automation item it should sound distant. Now granted that part's kind of difficult to hear at the moment because I've got my filter a little bit too low. I'll lift my filter up a bit and get it to where it sounds good to me. I think that'll do, so I'd maybe want to move that up just a little bit more, and I'll find a halfway point in here from where I want to start the effect of opening up. Probably right about there. I can add a point to my envelope here by holding shift, and you can see that the dialog shows to insert an envelope point, and as I zoom in, I'm using the scroll wheel on my mouse to zoom. I can see my point there, but I can also see that I have a point here at the end. What I'd like to do is take that point at the end, left click and drag, and bring that up to meet the next section. At this point I've got a linear fade on my low pass. Let's take a listen and see how that sounds so far. And 
And that does a pretty good job of recreating the effect, but I believe that it's a little bit too linear, if that makes sense. If we take a look at this rather steep ramp, we can change that to give us a smoother effect. While holding Alt, if I left click and drag, I can change the curvature of that automation. There's not really a right or wrong curvature, you just find what sounds good to you. Let's take a listen to it now. That sounds a lot better to my ear. Something that you may find interesting as well is taking a look at RIA EQ while that automation is happening. If I go back to the start of the song, let's watch this parameter as the automation controls it. And that's it. As you can see, automation items can be used in a lot of different ways to help add some enhancements to your mix. I hope this helps. If you like the content you've been seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And you can support the channel further by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee or Patreon link below. I like coffee, but I left it in the other room. I like Dig Dug. Also, check the link in the description to join us on Discord and engage with other Reaper users. Until next time. Oh, come on! Stupid game.